All the way, all the way over. Um, I came back with Porsche, and uh, today we introduced the new 918, which is really the kind of the start of the, our, our next evolution of race cars. And uh, pretty exciting technology as they bring hybrid into racing. And then, for me, is how they bring hybrid back out of racing and bring it back to the streets, especially in LA and Santa Monica. So um, this this technology is so applicable for real world. Um, applications, so it's pretty pretty great, stunning car, and yet very relevant for for us. So tell me about that transition between a race car and somebody will buy and drive on the 405. Sure, at 20 miles an hour on the 405. Um, a lot of times you, you hear about race on Sunday, buy on Monday. Well, I've never been that guy. That's that's not my world, um, especially in Southern California. This is is just the opposite. Audi did it, Audi did it years ago with diesel. Audi started winning all the big major races because they could get 20% longer between pit stops. Now Porsche is doing it with hybrid technology and it's, uh, it's pretty exciting and it's really, um, we're already bringing out, we've got the Cayenne hybrid next year, this year, we'll have the Panamera hybrid and so we're actually bringing this race technology literally to the streets. So um, it's the most direct transfer of technology I've seen in years. Uh, absolutely. Um, as we all segue to uh, MPG in 2014, 15, and 16, all of us have to make major changes. And uh, so this is, this is clearly uh, where we have to go, and the consumer wants to go there. The consumer wants to drive this and feel good about what they're doing. So this is the kind of technology that allows you know, the best of both worlds. Um, the performance and the torque is spectacular on the car. So it looks like a Porsche and drives like a... A hybrid. Have you had a chance to drive that car? Oh yes. To it? Excuse me. Not the 918. They they don't let me get any closer than this. Uh, so no, I have not driven it. No, I don't know. Probably never will. That's a that that's certainly a museum car there. It's what else will you see here at the Detroit Auto Show? Um, we've got the next up is uh, for Volkswagen. I uh, think in about an hour, and it's probably the biggest introduction in my 34 years I've ever seen. It's our new B-class sedan, our Passat and it'll come out of uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And it's the price like a Camry Maxima Accord. It's the first time Volkswagen's ever competed, really competed, in that segment. So it's a major, major change um, and um, move for Volkswagen as they go to 500,000 and 800,000 cars a year. It's really a big deal for them. It's, it's a key launch. And that's coming up next. And then uh, uh, Audi and Toyota, Toyota, oh, Toyota, we're doing a very very exciting one for me. Um, my one plug, I'm the biggest hybrid eater in the world. Uh, look right at the camera for that one. Um, we have a our larger Prius coming out. We're bringing up, Toyota's bringing out a family of Prius. So we currently have the Prius that everyone knows. It's the number one selling car, number one selling hybrid in America. In six months, we'll have a small SUV-ish looking Prius. And then we'll have a plug-in Prius and then a sporty Prius. So we will expand the family of Prius and have five Prius models in uh, a year and a half. So Toyota wants it to be the, the number one selling model in America. And uh, I happen to think that's wonderful. So when will the consumers be able to expect the cars to get the auto show? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything quicker. Probably four to six months will be when most of them some of them start to show up uh, in showrooms. Right. So, pretty fun. Good. Thank you. Sure. Tell me really quickly, is hybrid in a sports car a new thing, or is this kind of a sports car? Yes. Uh, Porsche has been off-road for years. You know, you saw the, uh, some of you saw the Pikes Peak stuff. So, a lot of the stuff that people see doesn't sound like a Porsche. The hybrid is actually new technology for us to be, to be uh, and to be racing with. The disadvantage is extra weight, the advantage is uh, huge. So the hybrid technology in racing is relatively new.